Hello viewers, welcome. In this video, we'll be showing you how you can get the best TV experience from your Android TV stick, TV box, or smart TV. Now, here what we're showing you is an air mouse. This is a 2.4 gigahertz motion sensing air mouse. It has your usual features, mouse, keyboard, and it's motion sensing game, and it also has voice functionality. The remote works with Android TV sticks, TV boxes, smart TVs, and other devices like projectors, and you're all in one PCs. So this is a very interesting uh, remote because uh, it supports multiple operating systems. For example, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux. We haven't played around with it on uh, Mac and Linux, but uh, manufacturer claims that it is supported. So this TV remote has what's really cool, a gyroscope. Similar to some of the mice we've played before, RC11, RC13 from Measly. Now, basically, this air mouse is a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. It has a receiver that plugs into the Android TV box. It's an uh, air mouse and with wireless keyboard, six inertia sensors, great for games. Compared to the Mizi remotes that we've reviewed, this one actually has an IR remote control and IR learning and supports voice. So you should be able to talk to the remote and basically control your Android TV box. Let's open it up and see what's included. And here we have the remote and we also have the USB receiver and this plugs into your USB port on your TV box or Android TV stick. Next let's actually take a look at the manual. Keep in mind this is an unbranded remote. There's a microphone on the blue button to indicate that it supports voice. There are similar looking remotes that do not have a microphone and have the letter E for Internet Explorer and they do not support voice. So it's 2.4 gigahertz. Let's look at the specs in detail. Three gyro and three G sensors, 81 keys, remote control distance 10 meters, and it's two AAA batteries. So probably a good read. And this is the remote. Very very lightweight. Notice how the keyboard's on the back side of the remote, and the front side is your basic remote buttons. So here we have it. Let me remove this plastic covering and you can see it. There's a power button way at the top. Your, your, you also have fast forward, rewind. Here's your OK button which is your selection and your typical uh, buttons for remote. Here is your mute button. Here is your mouse button. You can enable and disable mouse. Now the key thing is this one is your microphone button. So you hold the button down to actually talk to it and release when you're done talking. And there's the keyboard. Looks like a typical keyboard. You have a blue alt key that if you hold on you can actually type the additional characters that are in blue. So really nice. Buttons feel reasonable in terms of click. You can get a feel. Here's where you add the two AAA batteries to power up your device. And here we have the batteries. We're going to be using alkaline batteries to avoid changing the batteries very often. In the polarity, let's just put it in. And there we go. So right after we put in the batteries, we can see it's blinking red. And I guess uh, there's power. It looks good. So we'll just put the cover back on and we're ready to go. Next, we will plug in the USB receiver into our TV box. And in this case, we'll be using the CSA93 TV box we reviewed and test out the remote. Here we are with the CSA93 and this multifunction gyroscope mouse. And we, let's, we can move this thing around and see the buttons over here. We turn on mouse mode. We can actually move the mouse around in all directions. We can click. In this case, we can navigate the mouse up, down, left, right. It can push the buttons. We can click, in this case, YouTube. It quickly opens up YouTube, a familiar uh, thing. We can navigate up, down the uh, YouTube list of videos that we're interested in. And basic functionality on the gyroscope mouse is as ex expected, similar to the Mezi. Now, just to better demonstrate this, I can move the mouse left, right, left, right, and 
the mouse moves up, down, up, down. You can see that the gyroscope functionality is great. It really doesn't require me to be on a desk or anything. Really convenient. Mouse is lightweight. And I can do all of my navigation, whether with the gyroscope mode or using the cursors, the cursor keys. In this case, the typical Android TV box comes with controls similar to the cursor buttons, and either one works fine. Let's type magic show and see if we can find a magic show on YouTube. And keyboard is very responsive. You can feel when you push the keys. Just hit enter right here. This makes it very convenient using an Android TV box because we can easily type things here and we use cursor keys are very convenient for scrolling. Scroll through all the different example videos we can find based on our search result. And let's just click one here and you can easily navigate. It's very good. So here's one quick video. Magic secret uh, secrets revealed, and I can quickly control all aspects of the Android TV box. I can navigate. I can actually change volume, lower volume, increase volume, and lots of different buttons on this remote that would be great to test. And it just it just basic functionality just works. You can hit back, simple button like that, and scroll quickly. It makes the Android TV experience much, much better. Unfortunately, we were not able to get the voice functionality work on the CSA 93 TV box. So what we've done right now to do a test of the voice features is actually plug in this USB receiver into a MK808B TV stick that we reviewed a few years ago and see if it works there. And what we're going to do right now is Instead of using the keyboard, we'll be using the blue microphone button on this remote. Magic Show. So the audio functionality works fine with the MK808B TV stick although uh, unfortunately it didn't work with the CSA 93. We also tested this with a Windows 10 laptop and it worked fine. Keep in mind that driver support is needed on the Android TV box to make sure the remote is fully supported. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.